The way we managed to get through this construction and one of the things that helped us tremendously was uh, 123 was able to facilitate us with the need of the 28 foot and the 40 foot kitchen including the dishwasher. This is a very helpful way to get you through your construction without having to close and without having your customers stuff. The types of dishwashers we that we have in there currently are mobile kitchens and real quick and within the next day or two days they brought us back that equipment that mobile kitchen has been a lifesaver it's been great we providing 400 and some meals a day uh, is a lifesaver so uh, we can continue our food service with no issues no flaws okay my name is Julio Trejon the regional dietary specialist for preferred care out of Plano Texas uh, and today we are talking about the portable kitchen, mm -hmm. the mobile mm -hmm. refrigerator. That yeah. So that the mobile kitchen has that we uh, need to maintain uh, food service. We uh, we have about 140 residents that we prepare three meals a day. So 400 meals uh, is not easy to produce without a kitchen. Also, we are regulated by the state of Texas, so meals have to be prepared in a sanitary, and clean environment. So. Uh, we use the mobile kitchen to produce those meals, transport them inside the dining room, and right now we don't have any issues with, uh, with the meals because they're prepared in the proper sanitary conditions inside the mobile kitchen. Great features of having a mobile kitchen is that uh, we can continue food service uh, for the residents without them knowing that we are doing a full kitchen renovation. The service had stopped from when we had the kitchen, so uh, the customer will never know that you're not in your regular kitchen that you use an outside uh, facility. So it's no difference between a regular kitchen or a mobile kitchen. When you have all the equipment inside, uh, your customers will never know the difference. I mean, your customers suffer. The types of dishwashers that we have in there currently are push-through unit. Uh, they're a low temp. So it does use a little bit of chemical, usually soap, sanitizing. Uh, the temperature control for the state of California and the county of San Diego is 120 degrees. So we, um, we have two water heaters in there that are able to fulfill the needs of our water. Uh, we currently, since under construction, we were able to connect to a water direct source. There is three sinks, one being the triple sink, which is required by the state of California and the county of San Diego for health services, which is for your your wash, clean, and sanitize. And then you also have two, uh, which are right before you push through the thing. They're a scraper, so you have a, a pool unit you can push, pull through, wash everything, rinse it before it goes into the machine. So a total of three sinks, one being a three compartment sink. The amount of plates that we clean per day is somewhere in about, for lunchtime anywhere on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on average about three to four hundred for lunch, about the same for dinner, about three to four hundred for dinner. On the weekends, we can average anywhere from twelve.